on the Corse du Severac Plateau, in the south of the Massif Central, in France, lies the source of the river Aveyron. From there, the river flows westward on its journey towards the river Tarn, following a valley bordered by rocky cliffs between the Corse Comptal and the mountains of Palange. Like the cliffs at Rock Missou, the escarpment offered natural shelters near the river for our prehistoric ancestors. Scientific research carried out since the 1970s has confirmed that human groups have been present in the area for almost 10,000 years. Since 2012, archaeologist Thomas Perrin has been excavating Rock Missou to explore the transition between the lives of the last hunter-gatherers and the first Neolithic farmers. By studying the layers of sediment, archaeologists can learn a lot about the different occupations of the site over time, their composition, color, nature, and the archaeological remains they contain tell us the story of the people who lived here, their environment, and their climate. Around 20,000 years ago, large glaciers covered the Massif Central, including the Aubrac, about 15 miles from the site. But gradually the climate warmed and the glaciers receded. No human presence has been recorded in the entire region during this period. Sparse vegetation gradually began to grow, including pine trees, which became increasingly widespread. At the same time, major climate and environmental changes began to erode the cliff face. Water infiltration and cycles of freezing and thawing began to crack the rock and large boulders broke off from the cliffs. Remains of the hearths dating to 11,500 BC show that the first groups of hunter-gatherers set up camp at the foot of the cliffs under the shelter of the overhead. At the time, the landscape was still very open and was composed of sparse shrub vegetation. In the plain in front of the site, herds of wild horses roamed and were a food resource for the hunter-gatherers. Hunter-gatherers made temporary camps here for a few weeks or months at a time, depending on the resources available. The nature of the raw material used to make their tools shows archaeologists that these groups roamed within a large geographical area adapting their food sources according to the seasons. Around 10,000 BC, a brief but major climate change led to another drop in average temperatures throughout the Northern Hemisphere, and the region became inhospitable again. The cliffs of Rock Missou were rapidly eroded and new boulders broke off the cliff face. But in around 7,500 BC, groups of hunter-gatherers settled under the overhang again. Although still nomadic, they appear to have now stayed for longer periods. Archaeologists have identified a large pit in which branches of rotten oak were burned, probably to smoke skins. But once again, a thousand years later, another major climate event put an end to the occupation of the site. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, a major development was taking place in human history. Little by little, groups were settling the land and selecting and domesticating plants and animals. The emergence of sedentary living, agriculture, and animal husbandry, everything that characterized the Neolithic period and the origins of our modern world, was developing there. These farming societies gradually began to spread, especially to the west. They reached the Mediterranean coasts of the Languedoc in around 5800 BC, then the Aveyron and Roc Missou a few centuries later. Their interactions with groups of native Mesolithic hunters are at the center of current archaeological research. By 5000 BC, the site was occupied by Neolithic groups, but they too appear to have used it only as a temporary camp for hunting large mammals, such as deer, wild boar, and aurochs. 
A few centuries later, the camp became more densely populated and was probably an actual village nestled between the cliff face and the river. These farmers' houses were built with stone walls, at least at their base, and a roof supported by posts. The permanent nature of this farming settlement is also confirmed by the inhabitants' funeral practices. In the upper part of the cliff face above the village, a burial cave has been excavated and a likely second one identified. Archaeologists have documented the partial remains of more than 50 individuals buried over a period of more than a thousand years at this temporary burial site. Around 2300 BC, several massive boulders weighing several tons each broke off the cliff face, crushing many of the dwellings and putting an end to the settlement. We do not know whether this event had tragic consequences for the inhabitants, but settlement at the foot of the cliff came to an end at that time. Later, however, the surroundings of the site were inhabited once again, with the vast Gallo-Roman villa of the Argentel fields in the Middle Ages, and then sheepfolds and a mill which were built beside or on top of the prehistoric settlements. Rock Misu testifies to a long history of human habitation of the site by many different groups. It is part of a long human adventure, many elements of which are yet to be discovered.